do the stadium tour on an FBB drone in one shot? Let's talk how! So, I watched a bunch of these FPV one-shot tours of buildings, particularly stadiums. Heck, the MLS even has a whole series on all their stadiums on their YouTube channel. So when DJI challenged me to remake a famous FPV video with a DJI avatar, I thought like there's no better place than the stadium, the former World Cup stadium of my hometown and the stadium of Hanover 86 and get one of those shots they need it right anyhow sports arenas is something that we are all very very familiar with and have seen in different angles so fpv drones are actually the perfect tool to give you a different perspective a different view show off these vast spaces to visitors to fans and show them a different different side of the stadium and the dji avatar actually allows folks like me who are not day-to-day -day FPV pilots to get these shots. So in this video we go through a step-by-step -step guide on how we pulled off this shoot. Alright, so for inspiration I watched a ton of videos of FPV drone shots in stadiums. In fact, they like they have these races in stadiums oftentimes, so you have a lot of material to work with, but I picked a couple of shots that I really wanted to get, put them together and check them out. Now, if you can, ideally you can also get some, some footage, video or photos of the location you're actually going to shoot at so that you can start mapping out what shots you want to get. In this inspiration and brainstorming phase, don't put any limitations on yourself. Just like think what you really want to get and then later on you can figure out if it's actually possible. Now, once you're on the ground, you have to assess what's possible and see what the situation is. Now, first of all, this very much depends on your flying skills, but also on environmental factors like the weather and wind particularly. These small scene whoops and strong winds are not friends that can really ruin your day. But luckily, the DJI Avatar is very small and compact, as well as the small, very compact goggles. You can just like throw them in with the rest of your gear in a backpack and, and track around. All right, now it's getting real. During the walkthrough, you want to figure out your exact flight path. You want to find some gaps you can fly through, some details that you want to show off of your location. So that's what we're doing right now. Good FPV one shots take paths that ground-based cameras cannot do and also do close proximity flights that normal drones can't do because of their size and maneuverability. You want to start on something that sets the scene, that suspends reality in the first couple of seconds to get the audience attention and show that this is not a normal video. You can achieve that by immediately integrating some close flybys, super fast shots. You want to mix up things and, and get really the energy up right from the get-go. Luckily, the DJI Avatar has these built-in prop guards and a very robust build with, which allows you to confidently fly in these tight places even if you don't have that much of FPV experience. Okay, since they're actually transitioning through indoor and outdoor spaces through that player tunnel down there, uh, I want to hide the transition here while flying through it. For the outdoor shots and sort of camera settings, I'm going to try to hit ISO 100 and use these ND filters that you can get for the Avatar to achieve a 150th, 180th of exposure time and have that nice motion blur come through, especially with these faster FPV shots, you wanna get that motion blur. For the indoor shots, I'm gonna take off the ND filter uh, and luckily because of the one over 1.7 inch new CMOS sensor that is slightly bigger actually than the one that is on the original DJI FPV drone, you have a more light sensitive sensor in the camera which is better for these indoor shots that you wanna get. All right, now the exciting part starts the first test run. This is where you want to fly uh, a little bit slower and see where the tricky areas are, what the wind conditions are, so that you get a little bit of a hang on the situation. Actually, before you, may t before you take off, you may need to unlock the geo zones if you're flying inside a stadium. You can do this on the DJI website and then it's getting pushed to your drone. 
uh, definitely do this. We had to do it and it's definitely something that you want to consider and do before you get to the location. Also, for this whole shot, I'm gonna mostly fly in sports mode rather than acro manual because I found that the avatar is flying incredibly well and it allows me to confidently really hit actually narrow targets more so than the acro mode where I'm a little bit jittery. So let's see what we can get in this trial run. Okay, uh, the first fly through was amazing. I think I found a few spots that I want to hit. All the shots that I had in my mind are possible, even in sports mode. So let's go for the real deal. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, to set yourself up for success, you want to have at least enough batteries to allow you two to three flights. Now, usually these FPV Cinewoops, they have a flight time of three to four minutes, but the magic of DJI's battery technology allows you to stay up in the air up to 18 minutes. I would say more realistically, I got like 11 minutes in my test flight in. That much of a longer battery time also allows you to take longer one shots or make a few mistakes and redo it. Now I'm gonna get away from all distractions, get into a calm mood and focus completely on the flight. I can do that. If I make mistakes, that's all right. Don't get overconfident, but let's see what we get. Okay, I think we got it. Uh, oh my god. I mean, it's it's overall already such an emotional moment for me to fly in the stadium place I've been coming to for all my life and uh, seeing this from this angle. Yeah, it's, it's, it was worth it. It was worth it. Okay, I hope you learned something. I hope you feel inspired and encouraged. But go out and fly yourself. See what's possible and get this ultimate flying experience in places that you love. Big thanks to Hanover 96 for letting us fly in the stadium and DJI for building these amazing drones. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this video, subscribe if you even loved it and hit that notification bell. And as always, thanks so much for watching. Have a good morning, have a good night whenever and wherever you are around this beautiful planet. Bye bye.